Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from BodyWealthAndWellBeing.com and today I wanted to talk about holistic health and total body wellness. Um, lately I have been really focused on total body health and not just going to the gym and eating right, but really um, going a little bit further as far as preventative work and going to a preventative doctor, a holistic doctor who can, you know, check my blood levels, check my hormone levels, um, see if I'm pH balanced, just those type of things, allergen tests. And I really just wanted to do it, not because I'm sick or I'm not feeling well, but just to see uh, where I am. You know, I'm getting older. I want to make sure that my hormones are stable for my age, especially as a woman. Um, I think it's so important to always go the extra step and try to prevent disease before it occurs. And it's always helpful if you know what it is you need to work on to prevent it, right? Um, I believe in this country, we're more reactive. A lot of times we do not go to doctors unless there's a problem. And by that time, it's sometimes too late. Whereas I've noticed in other countries, they are really big, not all, but quite a few countries are really big on preventative health. This idea that, you know, massages should just be normal. Everybody should get a massage every so often for free, like the government will pray for it. Um, or you should take a rest in the middle of the day, go home and take a nap, siesta. <laughs> yeah, and come back to work so you can feel more energized. I mean, it's amazing that other countries um, have all of these preventative steps that they have for their, their community, and they are still very productive. They're almost sometimes more productive than we are in the United States. But anyway, um, with this all in mind that I wanted to, you know, really get more into preventative health and learn about my body and my systems and make sure everything is functioning right, I started looking up doctors in the area, um, in the Atlanta area to see, you know, who, who is kind of a holistic doctor that does all these tests that um, sometimes your insurance will pay for and sometimes it won't. Um, quite a few of them don't accept insurance, not surprisingly. Um, some may accept insurance but your insurance may not pay for everything so it's like partial payment well i have a co-worker she knows who she is who actually um got me hooked up with a doctor in the atlanta area actually not too far from my house it's actually an alpharetta um and it's a spa it's a spa it has a uh massage therapist a salon a nail technician um, you know, they give you pedicures, they have a fitness facility. I mean, it's just this all in one bundle package. And of course they have doctors and holistic health doctors. Um, I just started going to them. Here's the kicker. Here's the reason why I had to make this video because it's so amazing. They accept my insurance and they have found, they have taken the magic wand that they have and they are making my insurance pay for everything. This is the program that I get. I get tested for allergies, which I do have allergies. So they give me an allergy test on my arm to figure out what I'm allergic to. Um, and typical stuff like uh, trees, pollen, grass, animals, that type of thing. They also take your blood and test your blood. It's, it's a special test that they do to figure out what foods that you are intolerant of. So it doesn't mean that you can't eat them. It's just certain foods that you might be highly allergic to, certain foods that you might be moderately allergic to, and then certain foods that you're really not allergic, but it's just not, doesn't work well with your body. So that's what these tests do. Um, it's very similar, I believe, to um, blood typing, you know, that idea of uh, looking at your genes and your hormones to see, you know, what you can eat, what you can't eat. It's very similar. Um, they also do DNA testing to really look at your genes and look at your body and see based on your DNA what is inside of you, what is laying dormant. You know, if you have a history in your family of diabetes, a DNA test could possibly tell you whether or not, you know, you have to be careful because it's possible you might end up being a diabetic. Or if you have a history of certain cancers, um, it's possible you might have certain uh, chromosomes that could e eventually end up cancerous, but as long as you take care of yourself, maybe it won't go there. But So that's the concept of doing the DNA testing, to look at your DNA, 
see what you're predisposed to based on your chromosomes and your DNA and to come up with a plan with your doctor to see what foods you shouldn't be eating, you know, what chemicals you shouldn't be inhaling, um, what type of fitness regimen you, sh you should have based on your DNA. Um, and of course they do hormone testing, which I'm really big about. Um, as I get older as a woman, I want to make sure that my hormones are all functioning properly, that, um, you know, nothing is leading to me having thyroid disease, which my mother does have thyroid disease. So um, for me, I feel like it is imperative to know, you know, how my hormones are doing and if I'm on the right track. So I'm just still in shock that my insurance is going to pay for all of this, everything. And, and another thing with the allergy shots is once I get tested for my allergies, which I did, so I know what I'm allergic to, they now can give me um, antigens, which is kind of like a vaccine. So you're getting shot every week with a little bit of that allergy or allergen that you're allergic to so that your body can slowly become immune to it. Um, so I'm going to be starting that next week. <laughs> But the program basically is completely free. My insurance is going to pay for everything. Now, there's there's some stipulations. They have to actually check your insurance first. So they had to take my insurance card, call the insurance company, make sure that they um, were acceptable, and then they let me know, yes, your insurance is going to pay for everything. So it depends on the type of insurance that you have, um, perhaps with your employer. Uh, some insurance companies don't pay for everything. They'll call them and they'll say, nope, we're not going to pay for it. Um, so it kind of just depends on your insurance. I'm very, very thankful, very thankful that I have an awesome, awesome insurance. It pays for everything, um, and not just with this, even dental appointments, vision appointments. So um, I'm just in that place in life where I've been just checking everything. I'm going to the dentist. I'm getting my eyes checked because um, I feel like as you get older, it's so important to make sure you're functioning properly. And if you're lucky enough to have insurance, use it. Um, especially insurance that is going to pay for everything is at least in this country. If, clearly, if you're in a different country, you're probably getting this anyway. Um, so if you want more information about this particular spa, I'm not going to shout them out on camera, but um, they're awesome. Eventually, I probably will. I'm still checking things out. But if you want more information about this place, you can uh, like or subscribe on my YouTube channel and I will reply. Um, or you could go on www.bodywealthandwellbeing.com, go into the contacts and, you know, sign up and email me and then I can get your information and email you the name of the place and kind of the details of what you have to do to see if your insurance is accepted. Um, please don't message me on Facebook. <laughs> I check my Facebook messages every now and again, um, but I get so many of them you would just get lost in a shuffle. It's better to just email me by contacting me on my Facebook page, or I'm sorry, on my email, or contacting me on YouTube because I'll definitely be checking YouTube. Um, so that's all, you guys. I'm gonna keep you posted. I've gotten some of the tests. Um, next week, I'm actually gonna, they're gonna tell me what type of foods that I can tolerate, what I'm intolerant, what I shouldn't be eating. Um, and what I should be eating. And so even though I feel pretty healthy and I don't feel sick, I'm pretty sure, you know, I could find out how to get healthier and how to just balance myself out. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Like I said, I'll let you know more as I progress and possibly, I don't know how I feel. I might take a video camera to the actual spa and show you what it looks like because it's a beautiful facility. And um, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and this is Total Body Tuesday. Have a good one. Bye.